Hi, Larry here. You know, people often wonder what Loopy's going to be when she grows up. An astrophysicist? Brain surgeon? Well, after seeing her at our yard sale last weekend, I'd say she's going to sell used cars. Because when it comes to wheeling and dealing, Loopy's the cut price queen. Check it out, folks. Everything's got to go. Our prices are insane. By lunchtime, she'd sold just about everything. Boy, all that haggling made me hungry. Where's lunch? Here you go, honey. Now, where's that father of yours? Last time I saw him, he was out front, taking a nap in the recliner. The recliner? I just sold that to a couple of weird guys in overcoats. Oh, dear. You must have sold your father along with it. Don't worry, Mom. I'll just go buy him back. Hey, fellas, wait up. Ratlin Roswell, a UFO. Wait, come back with my dad. Oh, Zutney, we really scored this time. A genuine Earthian recliner. Mugglub, check this out. A bonus item. Whoa, what's going on, fellas? Is it Halloween already? <laughs> you know, you kids really ought to clean this place up a little. No point in putting off till tomorrow what you can do today. <laughs> Zutney, this Earth creature speaks words of great wisdom. He must be a philosopher amongst these people. What a deal. What a bargain. All this for eight bucks. Slow down, you discount dummies. That's not a bargain. That's my dad. And I didn't mean to sell him, so here's your money back. Sorry, Earthling, no can do. We are Bagrab and Zatni, intergalactic bargain hunters. Where we come from, a deal's a deal. But, but he's my dad. Okay, okay, I tell you what. We leave for a yard sale on Neptune at three o'clock this afternoon. If you can find a worthy trade item by then, we can talk the turkey. But I tell you this, Earthling, it had better be good. Whoa, Nelly! Gotta remember that little trick next time I get stuck in a traffic jam. Hey, speaking of jams, did I get stuck in a doozy last Labor Day weekend? See, fellas, old Dickie Greenberg and I were setting off on one of our fast fishing expeditions. Jumpin' Jupiter! What do you get for the alien who's got everything? A washing machine. Perfect. It's got to be tough keeping your underwear clean on those long space voyages. I'll take that one. A fine choice, madam. Will you be paying by debit or major credit card? Uh, how about a junior membership to the Yo-Yo Club? Uh. Huh, guess he's not a big Yo-Yo fan. So I say to Dick, how's about we pull into that gas station up ahead and ask directions? So in we go. Okay, okay, let me think. What else would you need on a long space voyage? Wait, I got it. Entertainment. Hi, Madonna. How would you like to perform for a pair of polka-dotted aliens bound for the furthest reaches of the galaxy? Hello? Madonna? <sighs> okay, Siegfried, I understand. Sure, give my best to Roy and the cats. Okay, bye. Oh, no! I'm almost out of time! Dad's done for if I can't think of something to trade in the next ten minutes. But what? What? Okay, Dad. Guess I know what I gotta do. Beam me up, Spotty. I'm ready to make a deal. So I said to Ron, I said, Ron, you gotta believe me, pal. That bass was this big. <laughs> okay, guys, here I am. Let's just get this over with. Thank heavens you're here. Please, please, take him away. We cannot stand it anymore. He's no philosopher. He's a gas bag. Never have Buck Robin Zappy made such a merchandising misjudgment. You must take him back. Okay, we might be able to make a deal. So now Dad's back home, and none the worse for his close encounter. I tell you, honey, those two Martian monkeys had to be this big. Of course, dear. And Loopy, being the shrewd businesswoman she is, even got the aliens to throw in a little extra on the deal. Boy, I can't wait till I get my driver's license. 